your hub for accurate, timely, actionable information. Seasoned investor or novice, we've got you covered. Welcome to Fundcode. ...of the RBI Monetary Policy Committee to the Q3 earnings of various companies, these factors hold the potential to significantly sway the market. We'll also touch upon the performance of the US markets and the rupee, corporate actions, technical factors, and the actions of FIIs and DIIs. Lastly, we'll discuss the impact of the Nifty 50's weekly gains, the outperformance of PSU banks, and the reactions to major domestic and global events. Stay tuned as we delve deep into these factors. First up, the Reserve Bank of India's Monetary Policy Committee is on the brink of announcing its decisions. Now, this is a key event that could significantly impact the market. These decisions often directly affect the interest rates in the country, which in turn influence borrowing costs for companies and individuals alike. Lower interest rates can stimulate economic growth by making loans cheaper, thus encouraging spending and investment. On the other hand, higher rates can slow down the economy by making borrowing more expensive. Next, we have the third quarter earnings announcements. Several companies will be revealing their financial performance for the third quarter of the fiscal year, 2024. These announcements can lead to substantial market movements, as they provide crucial insights into a company's profitability, future prospects, and overall financial health. Strong earnings reports can drive a company's stock price up, while disappointing results can trigger a sell-off. Keep an eye out for these announcements, as they will definitely stir the market. Thirdly, the US markets closed with strong gains, which is likely to influence the Indian markets. The performance of the American market often sets the tone for global markets, including India. It's a ripple effect, if you will. Positive or negative trends in the US can be reflected in the Indian market and can influence investor sentiment. Moving on to our fourth factor, let's talk about the rupee's performance against the dollar. The foreign exchange rate is a significant player in market movements. A strong rupee makes imports cheaper and can boost sectors reliant on imported goods. Conversely, a weak rupee can lead to higher import costs, affecting companies with high import dependence. However, it's not just about import and export. The rupee-dollar equation also impacts foreign institutional investment. A stronger rupee can attract more foreign investments, which can provide a boost to the Indian market. In a nutshell, the performance of the US market and the rupees standing against the dollar are key factors that can sway the Indian market. Any changes in these areas could significantly impact the market. Next. We have corporate actions such as X dates and record dates for interim dividends. These are dates that companies set to determine who is eligible to receive a dividend or rights issue. If you're holding a stock before the X date, you're entitled to the payout. But if you buy the stock on or after the X date, you won't receive the dividend. These corporate actions can significantly sway the market as they indicate a company's financial health and return on investment. Additionally, we have technical factors to consider. These involve analyzing statistical trends gathered from trading activity, such as price movement and volume. Traders use this data to forecast future price trends and make investment decisions. For instance, a sudden increase in a stock's trading volume can indicate strong investor interest, which could drive the stock's price up. Last but certainly not least, we have the foreign institutional investors and domestic institutional investors' actions, often referred to as FII and DII. These are the big players in the market, and their buy and sell decisions can significantly influence market direction. For example, if FIIs are buying, the market often moves up, and if they're selling, the market can go down. These factors will also play a crucial role in driving the market. Moving on, the Nifty 50 ended with weekly gains of 2.3%, led by IT stocks. This is a significant development, as the Nifty 50 is a benchmark index for the Indian equity market, representing about 65% of the free float market capitalization. The strong performance of these IT stocks suggests a robust demand for technology solutions and services, which could potentially drive further growth in this sector. In other news, 
PSU banks or public sector undertaking banks outperformed other sectors. This is noteworthy because these banks play a crucial role in the Indian economy, providing financial services to millions of people across the country. Their strong performance indicates a healthy banking sector and could potentially influence investor sentiment towards the financial services industry. These sectors' performance could have a ripple effect on the market. The strength of IT stocks and PSU banks could potentially attract more investments, leading to increased market activity. On the flip side, any weakness in these sectors could trigger a wave of selling, impacting the overall market sentiment. So as we move forward, it's essential to keep an eye on these key sectors and how they perform. Next, the market will also react to major domestic and global events. These events can range from political elections and policy changes to natural disasters and global economic shifts. Each of these events can cause uncertainty and volatility in the market. Investors, traders and market participants closely watch these events and adjust their strategies accordingly. In addition, the performance of the BSE Sensex and Nifty 50 also significantly impacts the market. Recently, the BSE Sensex fell by a significant 64,000 points, and the Nifty 50 index slipped below the 19,100 mark. This sharp decline reflects the overall bearish sentiment in the market. Market participants are concerned about the market's future direction. Will the market recover from this downturn, or is this the beginning of a prolonged bear market? These questions linger in the minds of investors and traders. These factors could further exacerbate the concerns of market participants. Now, let's move on to the analysis. After considering all the aforementioned factors, it's clear that the market's trajectory will be influenced by a complex interplay of domestic and international events. First, the decisions of the RBI Monetary Policy Committee will play a crucial role. Any changes in repo rates, or the tone of the policy statement, could trigger a ripple effect on the market ultimately influencing investor sentiment and the overall market trajectory. Second, we need to closely monitor the Q3 earnings. Robust earnings reports could inject optimism into the market, potentially offsetting other negative factors. Conversely, disappointing earnings could exacerbate market volatility. The performance of the US markets and its influence on the Indian markets cannot be overlooked. A strong close in the US markets could provide a positive cue for the Indian market, but any turbulence in the US could spill over into Indian markets. The rupee's performance against the dollar will also be a key determinant of the market's direction. A stronger rupee could boost investor confidence and spur market gains, while a weaker rupee could add to market volatility. Corporate actions and FIIDI actions are other factors that could sway the market. These, coupled with technical factors, could either fuel a rally or trigger a sell-off, depending on the nature of the actions. The performance of the Nifty 50 and the PSU banks will also be crucial. Any significant movement in these sectors could influence the broader market trend. Finally, we need to keep a close eye on major domestic and global events. These events could either spur market gains or trigger a sell-off, depending on their nature and impact. In conclusion, the Nifty 50 index is likely to stay in consolidated mode in the coming sessions, as it lacks momentum to cross a strong resistance at 18,000 points. Strength in the Nifty 50 will be expected only if it closes above 18,000 points, and in such a case 18,200, 250 levels are likely. That's all for today's market analysis. We've covered a lot of ground, so let's do a quick recap. We started off discussing the forthcoming decisions from the RBI Monetary Policy Committee and the potential impact of the Q3 earnings announcements. Both of these factors have the potential to significantly influence the market. We then moved on to the influence of strong gains in the US markets and the performance of the rupee against the dollar. These global factors often have a ripple effect on Indian markets, so they're always worth keeping an eye on. Our next points were corporate actions, such as X dates and record dates for interim dividends, and technical factors and FII-DII action. These elements can sway the market and are crucial to keep track of. We then touched on the performance of the Nifty 50 and PSU banks. 
With the Nifty 50 ending with weekly gains of 2.3% led by IT stocks and PSU banks outperforming other sectors, these are influential factors worth monitoring. We also discussed how the market reacts to major domestic and global events. In today's interconnected world, events happening halfway across the globe can have a significant impact on our markets. Lastly, we looked at the BSE Sensex and the Nifty 50 Index. With the Sensex falling by a significant 64,000 points and the Nifty 50 Index slipping below the 19,100 mark, these movements can exacerbate the concerns of market participants. In our analysis, we noted that the Nifty 50 Index is likely to stay in consolidated mode in the coming sessions as it lacks momentum to cross a strong resistance at 18,000 points. Strength in the Nifty 50 will be expected only if it closes above 18,000 points, and in such a case, 18,200, 250 levels are likely. Stay tuned for more updates and don't forget to keep these factors in mind while planning your trading strategy. Thank you for watching. Before you go though, we've got some fantastic recommendations for you. If you're into stock market news and updates, you're going to love these picks. 